Today it was basically 90 degrees, it was like 89 and it was sunny. I wanted to go swimming but then it said there was going to be lightning so I didn't go swimming. But I'm just dying to get in the shower already because of how hot it is and I was just so sweaty. First thing I'm going to do is take off my makeup. These are the makeup wipes remover wipes I use. I really believe because of these makeup wipes that I don't break out as much because it has rose water in it. I've tried some other ones and they be having fragrances and stuff or they just be smelling like chemicals and ever since I switched to these ones my skin hasn't failed me. As I'm taking a bath today I'm gonna be watching Mean Girls. Literally a fave of mine. I do like to go in with two makeup wipes. I just like to make sure that everything is literally gone because trust me, after this second wipe, I'm gonna show you what it looks like and there's still gonna be makeup on it because the first wipe is not enough. Okay, this is the best that I can do, but if you see, there's still makeup on it. So that's why it's important to go with an extra wipe and a double cleanse of course now i'm gonna try this oil it's a black castor oil and it helps straighten hair and it nourishes it my hair often falls off thankfully i've always had a lot of hair but dang a lot of it comes out very fast i didn't even know it was gonna be yellow but i really need to start taking more care of my hair <laughs> massaging that in it feels fresh clean but tell me why once i got out the shower look what i have i think that's a mini little baby pimple but it's okay now i'm gonna wash my face i'm gonna do my skincare stuff and then i'm gonna put on this mask and i recently bought this rose water obviously i really like rose water especially since like i mentioned I have it in my makeup remover wipe. Rose water is very good for you. You need to get some. It doesn't really matter what brand as long as you put some rose water on your face. Since my hair is very tangled, I'm going to brush it out first. I cannot believe my hair is all the way down here. My hair has grown a lot. I used to always cut it up to my shoulders. I had like a little bob look going on. It used to be my signature look. And honestly, I still feel like I look very good with short hair. I love short hair. It really makes me feel classy. But I wanted to grow out my hair and I honestly feel like I look older when I have longer hair as much as I love the short hair. Some of it might have to do with the fact that I have a baby face.
I ended up dropping a light bulb that already came with the apartment. Our apartment, the light bulbs, they were really yellow and so we decided to change one of them and we got a white light bulb. The apartment's light bulb was sitting on the counter and I have all of my self-care stuff, right? Like my skincare and the light bulb was in the way and my dumb ass, I forgot that light bulbs could roll over. It was sitting steady on the counter and so I went like, I tried moving one of my skincare products and it hit over the light bulb and by the time I tried to grab it, it had already fallen on the floor and now there's glass everywhere. Now I'm gonna do my avocado face mask. These face masks be smelling just like perfume. I don't know why I thought it was gonna smell like avocado, actual raw avocado. It has avocado oil, she butter, shea butter, and cocoa butter. It would have been better if I would have added this with a brush, but on the package it just says fingertips, so that's what I'm doing. But it looks messy. I'm gonna try so hard not to get it on my hair. I need to buy like a headband. I look like Shrek. I look like Fiona. Hey, look at this box coming right now. I should probably use a Liga, but I'm too lazy to look for one. Don't laugh because I look very goofy right now. This is the process of beauty. I feel so refreshed, so clean. But something I did forget was to exfoliate my face. I literally have the exfoliator laid out here and everything, and I still forgot. But I'm not about to do all that, especially after doing a face mask. Especially after these got drenched. It took me five minutes to get the face mask out. But I will just scrub my lips a little so I can at least exfoliate my lips. I don't like to use towels to dry my face. I actually learned this from Koreans and you can literally trust them with everything because their skin is literally the clearest ever and they're all about taking care of their skin. They're very big on skincare. And I just remember watching this video with my older sister. After that, we stopped using towels to dry our face with it because towels hold a lot of bacteria. So as it's air drying a little, I'm just gonna do my oral care. It's kind of dry. I don't like it to be too dry when I start putting my moisturizer and the rose water spray. So I like it just a little damp, but not too soaking wet damp. So just in between. So now I'm gonna go in with my rose water. Y'all, I don't know what's going on with me today, but I'm actually doing every step backwards or I'm forgetting steps. I literally dropped a whole light bulb. I usually go in with moisturizer first and then I spray this so I could be nice and refreshed after. I think I was just too excited to use this, but I'm still gonna, it'll still work the same. It even says on the bottle that you can use it before or after moisturizer. So I'll be good, but now I'm gonna let us sit before applying my moisturizer. Mm -hmm. She's glowing. Look at that natural glow.
I'm not going too much into details on my hygiene routine just because I literally have a whole video on that. The only difference is instead of washing my whole body with the Dr. Bonner's, I'm now switching to another body wash for my whole body. I'm only using Dr. Bonner's now for the intimate areas. So if you haven't watched that video, what are you doing? Now I'm gonna moisturize and oh look, it's matching my robe. That's the last of my little hygiene right now. And I gotta clean my ears, but other than that, that's the last step. Now I'm going to journal. I don't journal often. I'm not going to front and say I do. Since today is a self-care day for me, I thought it was only right to pull out the journal and start writing down a couple things and to just get into a right mentality of self-love. So I just got done journaling and I look back at the video and tell me why I have a double chin. Obviously, I'm not going to show you what I wrote, but I did two pages. On the first one, I wrote down today I'm grateful for and stuff that I'm grateful for. And for the other one, I wrote down I love myself because and I wrote down good qualities about myself. I honestly think this is a great way for you to program your mind into loving yourself and into realizing that you're just another beautiful human being that's worthy of love. I know a lot of times we see the world through our lens, so we don't see ourselves through the way other people view us. But if you sit down and you think of the nice qualities you actually have, then it'll motivate you to love yourself a little extra. I haven't read in a long time. 
but today I'm gonna read this book that my brother-in-law recommended to me. The only books that I like to read are self-improvement books. I don't like fish fictional books or anything. If it's not gonna benefit me, I don't wanna read it. Oh my God, I'm reading shit. <laughs> <laughs> 